You know, I made a video before and people were in the comments calling me lamb chop and I just have to say, y'all are funny. <laughs> It's really not about how much money you got. It's about how creative you are. It's 3 a.m. So, of course, I'm about to do something that I shouldn't be doing at 3 a.m. Duh. Got a wig. <laughs> okay, so boom. Everybody be sleeping on the synthetic wigs, and I'm really tired of it. It's time to wake up now. What else do you do at 3 a.m. when you have to wake up in the morning for work? Anyways, look what I got. This wig was, what, $40. I got some razors. We need that for late. I got a comb. Got an edge brush. I got this. What is this called? Hold on, let me read it. It's an elastic band. That's how we gonna lay down the lace then we got some got to be y'all know this is why i don't got no edges but it works let's take her out the box what's on boxer it is my little bit like plastic i'm in let's take her out <laughs> i'm excited at 3 30 a.m about this big baby she's already cute out the box give her a spin this is the inside look like okay Boom. So I will be using stockings for my bald cap listen i know putting stockings on your head is kind of crazy but it lays flatter i promise you <laughs> My lashes. Oh, there we go. What I'm gonna do is cut off the rest of the stocking. Nails make everything five times harder. Not right there. No. A little bit. Oh, now oh, oh, nah, you got it. Oh, okay. The first step is always the ball cap method because you want to make sure that you have a flat install, especially with some stockings. I'm telling you. There are two things I'll never admit. One is that my lashes are too long, and two is that my nose ring is too big. All right. So now we're gonna cut it off. Listen to me. Be careful on this part because you can cut off your edges and or mess up your progress. This part always scares me for some reason. Okay, so you're gonna get some foundation. Of course, I have Fenty. Shout out to Rihanna. Hey, Rihanna. I love you. Okay. Uh, I'm always scared to do this. I'm terrified. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and Gigi. It's too light. No. Okay, this one's a little bit darker. Oh, yeah, it is darker. I mean, it's not that much darker, but I mean, it's better. What do you guys think? Why aren't you guys answering? Hello. This is stressful. No, it's not. This is as much ball cap as we're getting today. The way you put on a wig is you put this behind the hook of your head. Then boom, push all the hair out the way. Cut upwards from my arch. One, two. And we're gonna do this in sections. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna pull it back, then I'm gonna get me some. Got to be glue. We're gonna put a little bit right there. It's now 4.17. I'm sleepy. Why am I doing this at 4 a.m. in the morning? Um, because I like to struggle. Am I going to work, you ask? Of course. Time to cut it off. See why I use these? It's just so easy. <laughs> I ain't even doing your baby hairs like that because I don't have none in real life. Let me have this. It's really not about how much money you got. It's about how creative you are. Tell me this is not cute. Hold on, what time is it? It's 4.44 a.m. Okay, so we're done with the extra out baby hairs. Let's play around with it, shall we? Blonde streaks on both sides or a side pizarre. It's like a, it's like a flip over. This side behind the ear because this side looks better than the other side, right? So I put on a black shirt so y'all can see a little bit better. It is now 5.15. It's 5.15. Ain't nobody got time to be spending 4.50 on a wig install. When we could do it ourselves. This was only $40, y'all. Details to this wig in the description. So if y'all want to get it, y'all get it. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go take a nap. I have to wake up in two hours. Goodbye.